There are some things in our world that look like something out of a horror film. You might find it hard to believe those things exist, but they are pretty real, and scary, and probably dangerous. Like these deep holes that look like something that could swallow us at any moment. Today, I'll be introducing you to the 10 largest holes swallowing the Earth. You'll learn where they are located, and you'll understand a bit more about their nature so you make your own judgment and decide whether there's something you need to be worried about or not. Find the scariest ones at the top of the list and ask yourself this question. What would you do if one of these holes was near your neighborhood? With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Solikamsk Hole First on this list we have the Hole of Solikamsk in Russia. This massive sinkhole has threatened a lot of holiday homes in the beautiful city of Solikamsk. It all started back in 2014 when the hole appeared near one of the town's salt mines. Soon enough, a lot of locals began their own theories in an attempt to explain what was going on in the area. Some of them even claimed to have seen angels and missiles near the holes. However, a group of experts came up with a the theory that the ground has been weakened by an earthquake that hit the area 20 years prior to this. Luckily, no one got hurt and no homes were affected at the time of this incident since the nearest house was two kilometers away from the hole. However, in 2015, when people thought that the hole was going to stop growing, it just became larger and started to swallow some of the holiday homes in the area. The hole was about 155 meters deep, and at this point, I'm sure no one really wants to have a house in that area. Number 9. Dead Sea Sinkholes The Dead Sea has been a popular destination for tourists for a long time. What makes this spot so attractive is that you can float on the waters without sinking. It's a very strange sensation that is possible due to the high levels of salt in its waters. However, lately the Dead Sea has become a destination for totally different reasons. As the sea started shrinking, a lot of sinkholes began to form. They were likely caused by the fresh water welling up and dissolving layers of salt. Now, the scary part about this is that the holes can show up without previous warning. Can you imagine hanging out by the shore when suddenly the floor beneath you opens up and forms a huge cavity? That would be scary. The shrinking of the sea and this scary phenomenon are a consequence of the River Jordan drying up. While the river used to provide about 450 billion gallons of water to the sea, now it only provides about 90 billion gallons. It sounds even worse when you realize that's only about 20% of its normal flow. Nearby factories and their misuse of natural resources are likely the responsible party for this, so I guess we better keep an eye on the ground if we decide to venture into this amazing spot. Number 8. The Big Blue Hole not everything on this list is necessarily on land. There are also big sinkholes underwater, and the most mysterious one is the one off the coast of Belize. The Great Blue Hole is a huge marine sinkhole. The famous scientist and naval officer Jacques Cousteau considered this spot to be one of the best places for scuba diving. This 125 meter deep hole is home to turtles, giant corals, and a variety of exotic fish, such as the midnight parrotfish and also the coral reef shark. Some people have spotted hammerhead and bull sharks, although those are not really common sights. But I guess everything is possible in such a mysterious place. It is said that the sinkhole was formed a long time ago in the midst of the last glacial period. That's when the sea levels were way lower. Years later, the ocean began to rise and the system of caves that make up the hole turned into an epic underwater scenario. Apparently, the underwater system of limestone caves just gets more complex the deeper you go. And also, the water gets clearer once you're there. So, if you practice scuba diving, you definitely don't want to miss this spot. I'm sure it's a unique experience and a very mysterious one, too. Some archaeological findings in this area can be the key to understand how the Mayan civilization disappeared. Number 7. The Ice Cube Observatory Next on our list, we have a very uncommon spot in one of the most remote parts of the world. It's the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica. I think the name is actually quite self-explanatory. It's an observatory, and it's an ice cube. And I guess that makes sense, since it is Antarctica, a place where people go to do scientific experiments in the middle of the lowest temperatures in our planet. It took about 10 years to make, and it cost $271 million. The observatory is about 1,400 meters deep, which means that you could put together the three tallest buildings in the world, and still the height wouldn't reach the size of this hole. You might wonder why do they need it to be that big, and why on earth would they put it in such an isolated place? Well, this is the perfect spot for scientists to study neutral particles that travel at the speed of light and are able to go through materials without a problem. That makes it hard for the scientists to spot the particles in regular conditions, so this deep observatory in the South Pole is the ideal place for them to do their research. Number 6. Monticello Dam Hole the next spot on this list looks like something you'd see in a sci-fi movie, one in which the world would get swallowed completely by this swirling underwater hole. 
However, this spot is not from a movie, but it is man-made, and it helped create the seven largest man-made lakes in the state of California. I'm of course talking about Lake Berryessa and the notorious Monticello Dam Hole, also known as the Morning Glory Hole. The Monticello Dam was built in the main 50s with the intention of bringing water from Puta Creek down the artificial Lake Berryessa in the Vaca Mountains area. The Glory Hole spillway was made so the lake could get rid of excess water. While this system was built in the 50s, the hole disappeared in the public eye after 2006. But all that changed in 2017 after the lake became overfilled with water and the drainage came to life. Number 5. Bayou Corn Sinkhole The Bayou Corn Sinkhole looks like the perfect scenery for a magical fairy tale with ghosts and spirits floating around. This sinkhole is in Assumption Parish, Louisiana, and it was created as the result of the collapse of an underground salt stone cavern. But before we go into details about this sinkhole, let's talk a bit more about bayous. These bodies of slow-moving water were very popular among Cajuns in the 1700s, and that's because the bayous were great nesting sites for alligators and crawfish. This was a gold mine for the people coming into the area. Years later, bayous like Bayou Corn gained even more economic relevance as they were perfect for salt mining. And that's how the Salt Dome Cavern was being exploited and one day it collapsed and turned into this sinkhole. The Louisiana authorities became aware of the problem when residents of Assumption Parish started to notice that the ground was shaking and bubbles were coming to the surface of the waters. The people were finally evacuated after they started to complain about the smells of oil throughout their town. When experts came to check it out, the wall of the cavern had collapsed. Two years later, the size of the sinkhole had increased from 2.5 to 26 acres. Today, three companies have been made responsible for the incident, and local people have had to evacuate due to the size of the sinkhole. Number 4. The Heavenly Pit The Heavenly Pit is the deepest sinkhole in the world. It's located in the Fengji County in China, a region along with the Yangtze River. Its Chinese name, Zhao Zai Tian Ken, makes reference to the longtime popularity of this place. Zhao Zai literally translates into Little Village and it refers to the abandoned village near it. Tian Kang means Heavenly Pit, which is a regional name that people in China use for sinkholes. I wonder what's just so heavenly about these sinkholes, though. Well, the lush greenery and the rivers around certainly make it look like a pretty heavenly place. The place is so interesting that people decided to build a 2800 step staircase so tourists can come and explore the depths of the sinkhole. This heavenly pit was formed above the Daifang Cave, and that cave was formed by a strong underground river that you can still see today at the bottom of the sinkhole. Another interesting fact about this place is the variety of plants and animals that have been found there. Some people claim to have seen cloud leopards and an unusual non-flowering plant called ginkgo. Honestly, going down these 2800 steps is rewarding if these are the sites you will encounter. Number 3. Darvaza Well Next on this list, we have a place that looks like the Gates of Hell itself. In fact, that's the other name people give to this place that certainly looks like the entrance to a terrifying underground world. This apocalyptic gas crater is inside a village called Derwis or Davaza in the middle of the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan. It is one of the largest gas reserves on Earth and its large crater is full of fire, boiling mud, and orange flames that keep people at a distance. The hot spots of this hole can be as big as 60 meters wide and 20 meters deep. You would think that any living being would like to stay away from these fires. However, locals claim to have seen spiders plunge into the crater following the glowing flames, just a step into their own deaths. Now, you might be wondering, how does this place even exist? Eh, apparently, some people began drilling on this site back in 1971, and they thought they had found an oil field, but instead they were drilling on top of a pocket of natural gas. The ground couldn't support the weight of their equipment, and it ended up collapsing, and as a result, it opened a lot of craters all around. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Most of the sinkholes I've shown to you today are quite far from people's homes, but what would you do if one day you woke up to a sinkhole right in your own city? Look at this picture, because it's not something I made up. This actually happened, and today we're going to learn a bit more about it. Number 2. The Guatemala Sinkhole Back over in 2010, the most populous city in Central America, Guatemala City, was hit by the tropical storm Agatha. At the same time, one of the nearby volcanoes erupted. The city was not ready for two natural disasters to come together at the same time. As a result, a lot of people lost their homes due to landslides and other problems with the infrastructure of their homes. But some unlucky people in the center of the city experienced something even worse. That being a massive sinkhole that swallowed a big chunk of their neighborhood. The weight of the rains from the storm mixed with the volcanic ashes made the ground suddenly collapse, taking a three-story house down. Some rumors say that the only person there at the moment was a security guard, but no one was able to confirm it. 
Other than him, no other people were reported missing in the incident, but it truly made everyone scared of the unpredictability of these events. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Murney Mine The sinkhole at the top of this list is a diamond mine in Russia. Murney Mine is 525 meters deep and 1200 meters wide. What you see right here is what happens when you find a place full of diamonds. You just keep digging until you see how many more of them you can find. This diamond reserve was discovered in 1955 by geologists Yuri Kabardin, Ekaterina Alagina, and Viktor Avdinko. But the place was officially turned into a mine until 1957 and ran operations until 2001. But back in 2009, the Murr Mine was opened again as a diamond mine and is expected to function for at least 50 years. There are some rumors saying that Murr Mine can suck helicopters from the sky if they get close to it. And in fact, there are rules that keep any aircraft from being too close. I guess no one would dare to challenge those rules unless you want to be swallowed down into the unknown. Sinkholes can be terrifying but also fun to explore, wouldn't you agree? Would you ever dare to go near one of these sinkholes? What was the scariest one of them all? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later everybody!